Someone said, you think it's sad that you're just living because you got a friend or two? It's like, I don't know. I think maybe this, uh, I don't know. I came to this realization and someone said that's really sad. I don't think it's sad. I think we live for other people. The things that make life worth living are others. Okay. Play some games? We're not gonna do that. Come on. We're not doing play that. Some games. I'm not playing with you. I'm good. No, let's play. I'm good. Don't be like that. No, you gotta respect people's boundaries. And that's where I put the boundary. That's a no. Yeah, but you have to learn to compromise. No, I don't have to. Not for that. So disclaimer, I I'm I, I might get a little emotional. I might not. It's fine, don't worry about it. But when I was growing up, when I was growing up, man, I was a loser. First things first. <laughs> First things first, guys, serious video today. I was a loser. I was overweight, which doesn't just make you a loser, Like, but in my school it did. And, you know, I was that kid that sat at the table with three other people that were also like the super rejects. That was me. And there's nothing wrong with that. It, that actually is a good thing for me because I met my friends. That's where I met my friends. My, my lifetime friends is where I met at that table. It was like four or five people and it expanded and, you know, got slimmer over time. But it was those people. And uh, we did everything together. All, all My whole life. Like from kindergarten up, we did everything together. And that was a really cool, that was a really awesome thing that happened in my life. But something happened a little bit later. And when I got to my late 20s, and I, a lot of you can probably attest to this in the comments, let me know, but... When I got to my late 20s, those friends disappeared. And it's not because they were like, I hate you, Cody. It's nothing like that. It's, you know, life happens. You know, people get married, they move across the country, and they were just gone. So, you know, you know the story about me anyway. I mean, if you follow my channel, I got married. Um, I still hung out with my friends, but, you know, I got married. And she became my best friend. And uh, in 2016, she didn't want to be my friend anymore. So... We were together about eight years, and then she left. So I was totally alone. And my friends were pretty much gone. This was at the point where they were disappearing and moving away and stuff like that. And over the last couple of years, I've came to accept this. I'm, I thought to myself, hey, you know, like when you get to this age, you just don't have friends anymore. And it's kind of a hard realization to come to, but it just seemed normal. Everybody my age seems the same. And it just seems that just seems how it's how it is nowadays. And is it entirely that bad to have no friends? No, no. I mean, it's, it gives you time to focus on yourself. But, but would you need that support? Uh, yeah, it is. I think maybe for some people, like very few of you, thrive. For you other people, I think it's just a lot of cope, personally. And I'll say this also. You know, what it makes me think of. You remember them? I, I don't need no man. Few moments later. Mm, I love him. It's like these women who did, I don't mean no man. Then they, they get a they, man they, and they, they and they're like they realize they realize what they lost. Yeah, I'll say this. I thought I didn't need family because I wasn't close to my family for a long period of my life, and now being closer to my mom and some of my family members now, it's like been life changing. Mm. You don't realize you need something until you, until you really have it. And you really? like you, you and there are times of need and you have people to rely on. They're there for you for special moments. You mm -hmm. share things like there's going to be a moment where you have a flash and you be like, oh, this is why people need community. This whole idea that we're excelling in solitary confinement and by ourselves is bullshit. Like I said, there might be exceptions to the rule, but the people who I see generally thrive in life are people who are surrounded by people that love them, not folks who are by themselves. And I mean, almost every study I've ever seen says like, you're gonna die earlier. You're going to feel less fulfillment and less happiness. You're much more likely to take your own life. Like, I wanna say that because I see a lot of people saying this kind of stuff and I don't want folks at my home watching and be like, yeah, be by yourself with no friends and no body, it's amazing. I don't want you to feel bad about the circumstance where you don't have people around you. But I also don't wanna to lie to you and say those circumstances are good. Yeah, but I just didn't have it. I'm now 31 years old, guys. I'm 31. I do almost everything myself. You know, I, I do my YouTube, the channel you watch. That's pretty much my entire life. Please subscribe. <laughs> it's my entire life, guys. Oh, my God. But I learned something. I learned something really recently that I didn't think I would uh, get to experience. When I started YouTube, you know, it was for fun, obviously. And uh, when, it, when it started taking off, that was pretty cool. But... Something came of it that I never thought would ever come of it. My viewers. 
And I know a lot of people are different, but my viewers would message me and talk to me. And I have people that have been in my community for a long time. And they've become, you know, real friends. But now, granted, that's the point of this whole video is the fact that I, I didn't consider it that way. You know, they were the people from my YouTube community. You know, and the people in my real, my in my actual life, you know, I don't have any friends in real life. So I talk to these people on Discord. And I talk to these people on Instagram. I talk to these people on Twitter. And um, I talk to them regularly, you know. Well, recently, we had a we had a meetup, guys. We went to Orlando with 16 people, maybe. All from my channel. And um, that's about the probably the first day of this meetup with some truly fan fantastic people. About a uh, a day into this meetup, maybe maybe about a day into it, I learned something that I learned something inadvertently that I didn't think I would learn, and I learned that these people that chose to they chose to come to this get-together with me. I learned that they were my real friends. I'm sorry. As touchy as this is, does this sound like somebody who sounds like uh, they don't need nobody in their life? That they thrive in by themselves? I'm just saying, I, I've never watched this video, but I didn't know it would turn out like this. But this is what I'm talking about. When you live without something you think you find, and then it hits you and you have like a wave of emotions. I'm happy for him, because like, you know, you don't expect videos like this to seem seemingly go well. But I think there's a lot of people suffering who haven't had this revelation yet. And some who unfortunately may never have it. And that makes me sad. I'm fresh. I'm fit. I'm authorized and monetized. <laughs> when people look at you, they judge you. They judge you on your height. They judge you on your looks. They judge you on your smell. And best believe they judge you on your skin. Now look, I'm not talking about putting on foundation and doing all this other crazy stuff. But it's okay to have nice smooth skin. You like being touched. You like being caressed. Some of you don't know what that's like. It's okay someday. And that's where today's sponsor come into play, Tia Shenley. I got smooth skin. Ladies, they touch it. They be like, oh, your skin's softer than mine. I'm like, <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Yeah, it is. And listen, if you're anything like me, learning about different products and what you got is too much. So T.H. Henley makes it simple. They got a level one box. You grab it. It comes with instructions inside the box that are simple to use. And you just go through the process. Besides Amazing Skin, T.H. Henley members enjoy 20% off retail price. Plus the ability to pause or cancel at any point during their membership. Because T.H. Henley is sponsoring today's video, you get 30% off your first box. Plus a free gift on us. Click on the link below. Get yourself set to have a better skin. People judge you on your possession. People judge you on your skin. Get it now. Listen, this is your opportunity. Use these products. Start looking fresh and fit. Make sure your skin shine like pearls. Oh, yo, yo, yo. It just, I've always said for years now that I don't have friends. And it's just crazy to me. I left, I left Orlando last week, you know, and I got home. And I was just I was just laying there, and I realized that I have friends, <laughs> real, real friends, and that's something I didn't expect to happen. And I told you I was going to probably get emotional, and I actually thought I was strong enough to hold it back, but I'm a big old fat bitch, and I just can't help it. <laughs> he got me with that one. He got me with that one. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> <laughs> he got me with that one. That was pretty good. Big old fat bitch. Come down, fuck. 
I'm happy for it. Be easy on your I'm shit. I'm happy, man. Cry, let out them, let out them tears. Go ahead, cry it out. I thought you was about to say, let out them, let, let out them bitch tears. No, oh, no, no. Yeah, yeah, let all that fat, fat bitchness fit, get out. Bad fit, fat bitch tears. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, it's okay, man. Yeah. It's okay, and I get it. The realization is really fucked up, though. Cause I think he put an X on that shit. He like he went like, man, it's not gonna happen, and then fucking hits you away. I got friends. Yeah, he did that, Lonnie Williams. I didn't. Remember that Lonnie from the Real? Of course I do. Of course, all that. What he did that shit without the sass. Yes. He did all that shit without the sass. Without being loud and obnoxious. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, what, Broadcasting. What, what was she saying? What do you mean? With Lonnie. I don't need no man. No, no, no. Oh, no, I don't. And then it went like... <laughs> I can't believe like it is. Go on, tell You him. can have your own. <laughs> we have our own. I am sure. self-sufficient. You got your I own. I don't what? need a man. Uh -huh. I don't need a man. Huh. But guess what? I want you. And that's the difference. That's right. The thing that's different about him is that it's not true. about him being better. He's still a man. Yeah. But it's the loyalty that I like. Ooh. Oh. You know what I mean? It's like, I can leave. Oh. oh. And he's there for me. We One friend, Annie. I was talking to her, and she's like, you know, I don't need no man. And I, I have my you're friends. talking about immediately. And, yeah, yeah. So, I oh, don't what? need a man. Uh, and I was like, girl, don't. And this is why I'm so emotional about it, because so many of our sisters are so lonely. Yeah. yeah. And they don't want to admit it. And all they got to do is just take a chance. So I don't want you to live your life without finding someone. <laughs> you think you're good. What happened? <laughs> yeah. Tour is already fucking lonely. You come back home to loneliness is a bit fucked. It's a bit dry. It's a bit dry. So you go, you go to Orlando. Yeah, I'm just gonna have some fun. Anyways, I don't give a fuck. I don't got no friends. Anyways, what am I gonna do? I ain't got no friends. And you come back up there, it's like fuck. Facts. Fuck. It hits. I get you, bro. Yeah, but I get the sentiments and I get the feeling, man. You think you don't need that and you shut that shit down? I think there's a lot of people. And I think it's become popular in society to be some kind of lone wolf. 100%. I enjoy myself so much by myself. I think it's perfectly fine to enjoy your own company and to enjoy doing something. But when people take it to the extreme where they act like they don't need anybody, I cringe a little bit. Forget the fact that science doesn't back it up or anything like. Think about the best moments in your life. And 99% of them are always going to be things you share with other people. The memories you get to share. Like... You know what's even better than great experiences? Reminiscing with the people you made those great experiences with. Because you get to relive all those emotions every single time. And you get to see the excitement on their face as they recount to you details mm -hmm. that your own memory forgot. Mm -hmm. So they get the peace. It's almost like you guys both built a, built a little painting. Then you guys broke it up into pieces. You thinking you got the whole thing, but no, she kept a couple ones. Or hey, he kept a couple ones. And then you guys come back together and you put it back. If you do it by yourself, I promise you're going to forget details. It, it, it is, there is something, there's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. I, uh, I think back to even like talking to siblings about my parents and like things that happened in my childhood that I forgot about. And they're filling me in and I'm just like, damn. And I'm sitting there having like whole ass moments that keep me really grounded and present. I'm like, oh, I'm alive right now. You need people for that. You know? I love taking trips. I like taking trips by myself. You never want to take trips with the wrong people, but the best trips are always with the right people. Mm. The worst trips are with the wrong people, but the best trips are with the right people. I don't know, community, we've always been communal creatures. That's never gonna change. Right? And so I say this, I hope you guys try to foster these kinds of relationship in your life. I think, hope you make the effort. I hope the people around you try to make the effort in return. I hope you guys fall apart and then come back together to be even stronger afterwards. Because God knows my best relationships have been like that up until now. Because this whole lone wolf mentality, it's cool in an anime. It's cool in the movies. In real life, it fucking sucks. Because mm. they don't, they don't, the movies don't show the bad side of it. No. Yo, throughout my life, I've met some people that always claim that they're lone wolves. Different aspect of life. And every time I call bullshit.
Back then, I was a little bit more confrontational, and I would just try to prove them wrong. Now, I just watch. A real lone wolf wouldn't talk to me. A real lone wolf wouldn't do cries of help or need time and need, and it's okay. It's not a bad thing. When you tell someone that claim they're a lone wolf, that they're not lone wolves, they take it personally. Like you're, you're trying to say, you a little bitch. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that's not what it is. You're looking for advice. You want mentorship. You want people, for friends around you. You want, that's not a lone wolf. You like the aesthetic of a lone wolf. You like the badass street of a lone wolf. You like walking away and shit exploding back in the back of you, but that's Hollywood. The aesthetic looks good. They don't show you how lonely and depressive it is. I'll say, I'll go a step further, brother. If you're truly a lone wolf, you're not watching this video. You're not watching this video. You're being alone doing your lone thing. Yeah, you're probably in the woods in some cabin somewhere. I got people trying to convince me they're lone wolves. They spend all their days watching streamers, eating their food while they're watching. You're not alone. You're not alone. You got some, you know, interesting form of connection with, a, you know, a parasocial thing, but it's okay. But you're not alone. But you're not alone. You in Discord communities chatting it up anonymously. You're not alone. You get those dopamine rush from interacting There's with other people. There's a difference between you're on YouTube comment sections leaving shit. Or but I, I disagree. You're trying to connect with people. Are you, you not, alone? Not, are you a lone wolf, or you just don't want to go out there? Yeah, you are. You are TikToks browsing the whole day. Why? Because you don't want to be with yourself. <laughs> you don't want to be alone with this. Yo, but. You feel, you know, you, you feel alone. I, we all feel alone sometimes. It's just crazy. It's crazy to me that on this weird thing, uh, the internet, that you can start over. So I want to read something from a boy, uh, Scott Tex. He was at the get together. I'm going to read this. And um, I want you guys to pay attention because this is how I feel. So <laughs> we'll read this real quick. Oh, my heart's beating so fast. I apologize, guys. That wasn't what I was supposed to do. Well, you're the first one to get this because you're definitely included. I had lots of thinking time on the drive already. Um, so read this and pass it along. It says, so now that the trip is done, the one from last week, well, for most of us, I just wanted to say thank you. You really don't know just what it means to me. Seven months ago, I was staring down the barrel of my pistol, hating my life, and squeezed the trigger hard enough that a tremor would have ended my life. I'm not really sure what stopped me. I wound up watching Cody and then Hannah, which is Tiny One Badger, every night to keep me from thinking about it. And it's led me to this entire community that has literally turned into my family. I know my humor isn't the best. I'm kind of a dick, same. And my social skills are jack shit because in 37 years I've had exactly two friendships that weren't whatever because of the horrible relationship I was in. For that, I'm sorry, but I'm trying. I was so hesitant on coming on this trip and I'm so glad I did. You folks have not only saved my life, but keep me looking forward and improving. I'm thankful for each and every one of you, and I can't wait for the next trip. And I can't wait either. Big, Big Mike sent that to me the other day, and I read that. And I lost I lost my shit, because I guess you don't really think about it. The, the What I get from the community is like the same that some of them get from me. And that's just, it's just, it's comforting to have, you know, it's comforting to know that we all feel similar. Some of us do. So, one more thing. One more thing. So this thing right here, we went on an axe throwing adventure. It was awesome. I enjoyed it. I won the tournament because you guys suck. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. But we have a, a few more people that weren't actually at this thing, but it was awesome. We had a lot of fun. Um, and it's just cool. It's real cool to learn that there's like-minded people out there. And it's cool for the first time in a long time to realize that I, I, I actually have friends. So I can't no longer legally say that I don't have friends because I do. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I thought that was heartwarming. It was cool reading that. Um, yeah. Some people are really one friend away from taking their own life. Crazy to think. Some people just, they feel that alone and isolated. Someone said, you think it's sad that you're just living because you got a friend or two? It's like, I don't know. I think maybe this... Uh, I, don't know, I came to this realization and someone said that's really sad. I don't think it's sad. I think we live for other people. I'm not saying you just sit here and you self-sacrifice all the time. But I'm saying like the things that make life worth living are others for most of us. 
It's our parents. It's our kids at some points. It's maybe both as you transition in life. It's the friends. It's your community work. Um, it's like someone said, Ava, would you want to, uh, you know, if you're on an island with every toy every in the world, you're like, I, I, like, I would off myself in like a year or two. Like, what, what's the point? Like everything I love, at least in my life, involves others. Going out dancing, others. Playing video games, co-op games are the best. <laughs> like uh, D&D, I do that with others. I would only do that. Like, everything I enjoy and that brings me joy, you know, sitting down with homies and making food. Like I love cooking, but I don't like cooking for myself. I like cooking for others. <clears throat> like things that are the best are the people. I like taking pictures. I don't like taking pictures of myself. I like taking pictures of others. Everything that I've ever loved was about other people. Oh, how about you're dependent on... Yeah, whatever, fuck it. Is that wimpy or whatever? Fuck you, I don't care. Maybe it is. I don't give a fuck. I think it's amazing. It makes me happy. It makes the people around me happy. And it gives me a sense of purpose. And that's a beautiful thing. And I just hope that everyone watching finds that. Even if it's only a few people in your life, even if it's only a few hobbies, I just hope that you guys get to discover the joy of other people. That's all I want to say. Your turn. You said a lot. I do. So. I just be yapping. It's fine. Yappity yap yap. It's just that. Yeah, you said a lot. And, you know, I don't want to repeat what you said. There's no sense to that. But. The lone wolf thing. <laughs> Most of you aren't. But I'm not fighting y'all anymore. Y'all can't. You can't be a lone wolf. I can see you in a cabin. Just like. Eating bears with your hands? I got my I got I got my lone wolf moments. Okay. There's sometimes I take my vest off and I'm not associated with a group and I just go at night, do my thing, and I'm alone on a bike. I got my people when I ride with them and I got them. But there's sometimes I take my my my, my road. Sometimes I go to the restaurant alone. True. Sometimes but because my life is with a lot of people in general, gotcha. I need that balance of being alone. Mm. It doesn't mean that I am a lone wolf. No, I need my alone time. That don't mean I'm a lone wolf. I would not say I'm a lone wolf any every time. That's not true. I like my friends, my family, I love to cook. I bought the house that I bought to have people over. Mm. Yeah, when you invite this over. You never want to go to my hood. I've, I've been there once. You once, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and this I, motherfucker I, don't want to... I thought somebody would call the police on me because the house was so big. <laughs> Not going to lie. I would walk around like, yo, is it legal for us niggas to be here? <laughs> yo, they let black people in this neighborhood? That's crazy. That's the thing. So I bought that to have all them people. So yeah, but yeah, of course, you play online games and shit. Okay. My games are always alone. Oh, man, you got to try co-op games. No, fuck that shit. I'm telling you. I co-op every day. You stay here. I'm telling you. No, no. Try it. No, we're good. Let's play video games. We're good. Let's play video games. No, we already have played video games. We played Among Us. Co-op. No, no, that's that's, that's not like What do you want to play? That nerd shit? No, no, there's some good stuff. What? We can find some shooters. You, get, pew, pew. Like, yeah, you like shooting guns, right? Of course. Yeah, I got you. We can shoot some guns. Oh, okay. Want to play some co-op games? We're not going to do that. Come on. We're not doing play that. Play some co-op games. I'm not playing with you. I'm good. No, let's play. I'm good. Don't be like that. No, you got to respect people's boundaries. And that's where I put the boundary. That's a no. Yeah, but you have to learn to compromise. No, I don't have to. Not for that. What I do you mean? It's a I relationship is give and take. I compromise a bunch of shit, and you do too. Then that, let, let's, let's put it at that. Yeah, and I'm asking you to make one more compromise. No. I'm asking you to give me a second chance. No, Biggie, I'm not. What? But yes. Yeah. Okay, I get you what you're saying. Yeah. But anyway, that it is what it is. That's all I got to say. All right. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys want to see us play some co-op I'm games? I'm not playing with him. <laughs> I'm not playing with him. Yo, we go, we go, I'm not playing we go, with we go to your place for lunch. No, I'm not. No, I don't know. No, no. You go play a play with Fletch? No. We're what? not. Why not? We're, we're not doing that. Why not? No, we're not doing that. You said I never want to come to my house. Eventually, we're going to do that shit. We're going to invite all the niggas to go to my place, and that's that. Eventually. Eventually? Yeah. Why? But we're not playing games. We, we don't have to play games. Yeah, we, we, don't, we don't have to. We won't. We, we can try. We play a fighting game like this. We're not. 